Hi Capricorns, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm actually having a really good week because I'm starting to see the fruits of my labor, which is kind of where what this season that we're in right now is all about. Is we had this horrible first six months, and then um, we're starting to see do some hard work and we're making some changes, and I'm starting to see the glimpse that the hard work is going to pay off. My garage is getting done. My office is getting done. Everything's getting done. Maybe not as fast as I would like, which is like a year ago, but that's not how life goes. But And we always wish that things were done faster, faster, faster. And that's kind of a problem with our world is that we're, so, we're rushing around so much, we're not taking time to enjoy the now. We need to learn to be present in today. Not thinking about yesterday, not thinking about tomorrow, but be present in the day. So what I did this week is I pulled two cards from this Oracle deck. This is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck for everybody, everybody in the world. And the first card I got, well, actually, I only pulled one, but another fell out and attacked me. And this is a card about justice is coming. This could be justice to you or from or for you. But it's all about karma. What goes around comes around. What we put forth into the world comes back to us. There are some people that believe it's threefold. I do not. And the reason I don't is that I think what is threefold for me might be different than what is threefold for you. So I could live with, and I don't think the universe actually counts. One for them, one for her. Now, I don't think it's that, that way. I think it's all kinds of work. It's out the way it's supposed to based upon what our needs are. The next card I got was the universe. And this one says we're all just stardust. But in your case, I think that we're all just students. You've been in a learning mode, learning emotionally and spiritually, and you've been a student of this world. Well, this is the week to let yourself shine. You are about ready to graduate. Well, not really graduate, graduate, because none of us really graduate. But you need to compliment yourself on how far you've come. You have come so far. It is amazing. And you need to give yourself props for that. You need to know that you have done some incredible work. And then I pulled an individual card for you. And this says, unplug and relax for a spell. So it's going along with that. The amazing work you've done. You've worked so hard. Give yourself a break. Go take a bath. Get some cow gone to take you away. Or go to Lush and get a bath bomb. Um, just take some time out for you. And to celebrate you. And to thank yourself for all the hard work you've done. Did I just say thank yourself? Isn't that an amazing concept? How often do we say thank you to ourselves? Um, and oftentimes we need a thank you. Like, um, I need to be thanked for saving those baby kittens. Thank you, Michelle, for saving the baby kittens. Huh, isn't that weird? I just never thought of it like that before. So you've been doing some hard work, and apparently I have been too, so I learned to thank myself. So this week, take a moment and thank yourself for being you. Appreciate you. Love you. Yes, love you. Okay, so now for our tarot reading. The first card we get is reverse, and it's three of wands. Let's turn it over. And this man is looking out to sea, and he's got these wands, and he's seeing the fruits of his labors, and now he's trying to decide where to go from that. And that's where you're at. You're trying to decide where to go from that. And that's really exciting. Um, and so because it's reversed, I think that you're starting to see the fruits of your labors, but not quite as fully as you're going to. The next card I got was in is it the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is um, this guy's been working really hard. And he's about to get to the end of his, his job. But he's worked so hard. And actually, some of it's been wasted energy. Because you look, and he's carrying these wands. 
but the way he's carrying them is just wasted energy. And so I think you need to learn to do that. You need to evaluate where you're wasting your energy and put only the energy forth that you need to. And finally, I've got the five of swords, swords for y'all. This is an, a card about winning. You're fixing to win. See, he's got all the swords and everybody else is running away going boo-hoo. So whatever's been going on in your life, you're fixing to get there. You're going to win at life, at this project that you've been on. And you're going to appreciate it. You're going to get that. But you've been working too hard. Which goes back to that relax and relax for a spell. So, um, Capricorns, I want you to have a good week. If I didn't say it, this is the reading for the week of August 24th through August 30th, 2020. Um, I'm going to do a special video about midweek and, um, it's going to be on an Oracle deck. And so, um, pop in on Wednesday. So you might want to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. So it'll show up in your inbox and your email. Um, if not, if you want to do a private reading, it's Genevieve at Belladonna Moonbeams, 405-512-9400 or, um, PM me at Belladonna Moonbeams. And if not, I'll just see y'all soon. Have a good one. Bye.